Welcome back to Transport Viva. So in this episode, we're going to continue with the work that I started a couple of episodes ago on the viaduct. So what I want to try and do is actually turn this into some sort of tourist attraction. Because actually in real life, it is a tourist attraction, I believe now, because of the Harry Potter films and stuff. So what I'm going to do is probably put in some sort of car park and maybe uh, a place where people can just come and pull up and and walk and go and see the actual viaduct and everything. So to start off with, just tidying up the bit around the train station that's there. Just tidying up some of the roads, as you can see. So I already put a new road in, and what it's then going to do is connect to the uh, the town, or the town that's closest to it, as you can see. And what I want to do is actually put kind of a, a two-level car park so I've already got the mod that has the car park in spaces. It's going to kind of be a one-way car park. So you'll go in one way and then be able to kind of, yeah, go in one way. Then you can go down either one of the car parking kind of parts and then have another road that kind of makes your way out. So I did try a couple of ways, as you can see here. Only one that I kind of ended up liking in the end. You'll just see in a second, but I didn't want it kind of a off the main road to kind of bits off the main road and then kind of back on around. So I will go back and change that in a second. But we'll just add a few. So this is actually a different mod that I've got here. So this I think all it's done is kind of sunk the trees down. So it kind of makes them into bushes. It actually looks quite good. So just put place a few of them around just for a bit more detail. And the them paths that I say the paths, they are roads, but I think in real life they're actually paths. So I'm just kind of using them roads as paths. Obviously, we need quite a few trees around, so we'll be adding them just now. So kind of to, to turn it into some sort of like forest. So this is where I kind of come and change the road, so it's uh, all kind of one way in, and then you kind of go round the car park and then come back out again. Like I say, I wanted it kind of to be a bit of a forest type area, so that's why I have plenty of trees in. So I have actually got a mod now that's um, a magnet that the what it, and it's what it's supposed to do is actually get people to come and visit it. Now, I'm not sure. I ha I do place the magnet down. It's actually some sort of bench. I do place the magnet down, but what I'm not sure is how it actually works. I don't know because I have if I haven't got any like a bus stop or station or anything like that close by if people will drive to it so we'll, so we'll find out anyway so if people do turn up then great if not I suppose I could put a bus stop somewhere near and run a bus to it so we just had a few stones and rocks about and then the mod that I use the most, the fencing mod, just put a bit of a fence around kind of the outside of it. Maybe I should add the souvenir shop actually around here as well, that might be quite good. You can buy your Harry Potter souvenirs. I think it just finishes this area off with just the, the fence around it, wooden fence. So what it would be quite good to do is actually have a custom made sign. But at the minute, yeah, I haven't seen, I can't seem to find a sign that you can actually customise yourself. So I know around the UK for all the tourist attractions we have like green signs. If you do know of a sign or a customisable one that would look any good around here, you please leave it in the comments below. So 
So another tip that I one of you guys left me was to uh, actually about painting. So if you hold the shift key down, you can actually paint right up to the edge of the um, up to the edge of the road, which actually makes it look so much better. You will see me in the rest of this episode actually use it a few times. Down the middle of the motorways that I've created, I've actually not painted the middle because it didn't, it wouldn't work. But you, yeah, you can actually paint them by holding the shift key down. Who knew? So there are quite a few little tips like that that uh, are quite useful that I didn't certainly didn't know about. If you think it'd be actually useful to have a video on that kind of thing. Yeah, and let me know in the comments below because it's something that I could look at creating. So just add in a pay machine here. So I've got a mod with pay machines on it. Actually, I probably could have added what I didn't do is there's a barrier I've got. I could have probably added the barrier at the entrance. Now just put in some parked cars, just to make it look like there's actually some people there. This mod is actually quite useful as well, just for making things look a little bit more realistic. Making it look like there's actually people there and things like that. So you can select with this mod various different colours. Um, you can select random colours and it randomly paints the car as you place it down. It's actually quite useful. This makes it so that um, all the cars aren't the same. Obviously got to have a camper van, looks great. So the next thing we're going to do actually is, so on the last episode I created the motorway services. And what I thought it was a good idea to do was uh, actually find a restaurant. So as you can see there, actually, that's the sh hold of the shift key when you're painting. So you can paint right up to the edge. But yeah, what I wanted to do with the services was add some sort of restaurant. So take a quick look on the story if there was one. And there's actually a McDonald's. So I've downloaded the McDonald's and that's what we'll be adding. First, obviously, you're just going to tidy these little bits up. You've also seen me paint down the middle of the motorway. So it looks so much more realistic. What I possibly need to do is add some street lights down the middle. I'm not sure if they are kind of the motorway style ones or if they're just... If, oh yeah, I'm not sure if they have got the motorway style street lights, but uh, I shall have a look. Just can make it look a little bit tidy around here. So the two, I'm actually going to put a restaurant on either side of the motorway. So I, I have got a motorway services on either side. So. I thought I might as well add a restaurant on either side as well. I'm just painting all that in just to make it look a little bit nicer. So that's the McDonald's restaurant, as you can see. Actually looks really, really good. Guessing it's just a reskin of one of the buildings that's already in the game. I'm not sure, to be honest. It does just look like a, a McDonald's, certainly the McDonald's that we have in the UK. So what I want to do is, well, you do have to make it so that whatever, wherever you place the restaurant, that it's not over the top of any grass, because the grass does poke through. So I just put tarmac all the way around it, just to finish it off, just a little bit of a fence. What 
possibly could have done actually is somewhere next on this side near at least is put some sort of car park right next to it as well maybe i'll come back and do that at some other point because actually the, well i suppose the car park actually it's just over the other side so that's not so bad so the restaurant on this side is just going to go here so almost next to the exit these restaurants have actually got the magnets the people magnets in them as well and as you can see some cars are actually now going up and down the motorway so hopefully a car will come off and somebody will go to the restaurant we'll have to maybe keep an eye on that just to see if anyone does go so this side is basically going to be the same just in a slightly different position also put a fence around it as well a different fence though just to make it look a little bit different maybe I need to like add a couple of cars around the back of the restaurant so it looks like the staff have pulled up and parked around the back just go and tidy up the painting of the ground on this side as well so it matches the other side I actually prefer this side I think than the other side the last thing we're going to do in this episode is actually start a new area. So this is that was actually the cargo area that we've already built towards the south of the map. And that was kind of just there as a, a temporary thing. So what I want to do is make it much look much, much better. And what I'm also going to do down here in this area here is actually kind of connect it to a little town. It's probably actually going to be a big town. city I may even put more than one town city in there just so it connects it all up so there was a farm there obviously that's got to go we don't need that and I do want it all flat so that's why I just make it all nice and flat and I will come back if I don't do it in this episode come back and just smooth all them edges out So we go, I go for a large city. So for some reason this city took ages to generate. So you will see it pop up like so. It took like 10 minutes to generate, I'm not quite sure why. Possibly because of the size of it, but there it is anyway. And it actually needs goods and fuel. I think what I need then if I put a city the other side of the um station when I put it in I'll probably make it have tools and machines so I assume then it would have more industrial type buildings so it's just going to have cargo coming down here it's going to be slightly different to the stations that I've done so far So what I actually start off by doing is actually putting just one depot in there, one kind of road depot for it. I think I possibly will end up having more than one. So just add a few of the cargo buildings around it just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then I just want a, a small road that goes around it, so it's going to kind of be a bit of like a complex thing. So the trucks will come in, go and pick up whatever they need to, and then just keep going off and deliver them. Then actually drive around. So what it does mean, the roads that are actually going around this bit do need will do need changing. And I'll come and change them a little bit later, as you'll see. So the building I'm actually going to use here for the the trucks is actually also a mod. So I've not actually used this one yet, but it does look really good. So 
So I'm hoping with the rose that we've got there, it doesn't get too kind of jammed up with everything. But if it does, I'll just have to kind of modify that a bit. But for now, that will be okay. Just add in quite a big road. So at the minute, this station is connected to the... I think it's the station up... Kind of towards the middle of the map. It's the other main depot that we've got. And that's the, the main way it kind of brings... I think mostly goods and things like that. I think we've got plastic that comes down here for the goods factory and, and things like that. So it is actually quite a major... It actually brings fuel as well, if I remember rightly, because fuel goes across to, I think, Stevenage it is. So quite a bit uh, will be going off down here. So the main road that I'm going to put in is going to. I'm kind of going to get rid of the road that's there. At least connect it up to that island. Uh, this road that I'm actually putting in now, I actually delete. So what I want to do, like I say, because I want to put the other town, the other side of the station, on that road there to connect to the new town. What I think I'm going to do is put a train depot and put a, like a huge train depot down here somewhere. So as we come to the end of this episode, thanks everyone for watching. If you get, like the video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more Transport Fever. And I'll see you next time.